everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. My video today is all about the red lip. How to choose the perfect red lipstick, how to do the perfect red lip, different finishes, different shades, all this stuff. Um, I think a red lip is so beautiful this time of year. I especially love a red lip in fall and winter. I love it all year round, but I really think fall and winter it's so lovely to pull out a red lip, maybe like a deeper red, oh, it's just beautiful. Oh. So why do I love red? First, it just pulls your outfit together. I feel like a red lip is an easy way to sort of, you know, you don't have to do anything crazy with your makeup, you don't have to have loads of eye makeup, but a red lip will just sort of, it adds something special to your look. You could have a very casual outfit, but you put on a red lip and it just elevates it a little bit. So it's a very easy way to sort of bring everything together, look very polished, very chic, very classy and very classic. A red lip is always in style, it's always elegant. Oh, it's just, it's fabulous. Also, a red lip is an easy way to make your teeth appear a lot whiter. I feel like if I put on, if I put on a really bold red lip or even pink, my teeth just immediately look so great. So I often get asked how to choose the right red lipstick. So, you know, I had an idea about this, like with, you know, color theory and undertones and all this, but I started checking it out online. I started researching this quite a bit and you find so much conflicting advice and it's really confusing and there were a couple times I'm just like, okay, I'm going to bed, I can't deal with this anymore because everybody has a different opinion. So I think, you know, take their rules with a grain of salt. Choosing a red lipstick, there are certain theories and I'm gonna talk about color tones and stuff, um, but I think you just need to play. You need to experiment, you need to practice and yes, you probably will buy a few red lipsticks that eventually you don't really love. It's going to take some time to find your perfect red lipstick. So with that said, let's get into this whole undertone thing. So first of all, you often hear about cool undertones and warm undertones. If you have a cool undertone, it means that your skin is much more pink. If you have a warm undertone, it means that your skin is much more yellow. I am much more yellow. I am absolutely a warm undertone. Okay, if you don't know what undertone you are, how do you figure it out? Two very simple ways. First, think about jewelry. Do you prefer to wear silver or gold jewelry? For me, I prefer to wear gold. I feel like gold, it just, it, it makes me look healthier. Silver makes me look very, very washed out and just kind of dead. Silver jewelry works better on cool tone skins. Gold jewelry works better on warm tone skins. So thus, that's why I look better in gold because I am a warm tone skin. I have this, I have these yellow undertones. Also, another easy way to figure out what undertone you are, look at your wrists, okay? It's hard to see on camera. If you look at your wrists and you look at your veins, okay? If your veins appear blue, you're most likely cool. If your veins appear green, you're most likely warm. If you have kind of like an in-between kind of a mixture, you're most likely neutral. So yes, you can be in between this two and you could be neutral. If you look amazing in both gold and silver, you're most likely neutral. So for me, my veins look green, thus I am warm. I know I'm warm. Everything about me screams that I have a yellow undertone. Okay, so how does this whole undertone business relate to lipstick? Well, yes friends, lipsticks are also designed to have different undertones. So you can get a cool undertone lipstick or a warm undertone lipstick or a neutral one. So yes, it can be very, very confusing. Um, if your lipstick is cool toned, it is going to have more of like a pink or blue sort of tone. If it is a warm undertone lipstick, it's going to have more of like an orange or yellow sort of undertone. If it's in the middle, it's it's a little bit orange, it's a little bit pink. To me, the middle is sort of like a nice like cherry sort of apple red. So some examples I have of warm, you will definitely be able to see sort of like the orange undertone. First example, this is a classic warm um, red lipstick, NARS Heat Wave. This stuff is definitely, definitely warm very, very orange and matte. I love that one. Um, this one is by Bourjois. This is a Rouge Edition Velvet and this is in the shade uh, Hot Pepper. This is another matte and this is very, very warm. This definitely is orangey. Then I have a Bourjois Shine Edition Lipstick. This is number 21 Rouge Making Of. This is much more sheer. You can see it definitely has a sort of orangey, like corally 
sort of business going on. Next, I have a lip color pen from Makiash, and this is in their shade Clear Red. This is very, very bold and definitely has that oranginess to it. And then finally, I have this lip liner from NYX. This is the NYX lip liner, waterproof lip liner in Ruby, number nine Ruby. So these definitely all look quite orange. All right, on the other side of the spectrum, let's talk about cool tone lipsticks. So first of all, I have another one of these Shine Edition lipsticks. This is in the shade 37 Raspberry Kiss. So raspberry to me, anything raspberry is always going to have more of a cool tone to it. So you can see, compared to this, this is definitely much more blue, much more pink. Next, I have a Bite Beauty lipstick. This is one of their Luminous Cream lipsticks. This is in the shade Tannin. This definitely is, this is a deeper tone, um, but this one definitely has a bit more blue in it. Next, I have a lip liner by NYX. This is um, Plush Red. This is number SPL813 Plush Red. And this is called red, but to me, this looks super, super pink. And also, I don't actually have the tube of this. I have depotted it, um, but it is the shade, um, it's Chanel Rouge Hydra Base number 81 Marilyn. That one right there. So you see, if we compare these, they definitely look different. These look much more orange. These look much more pinky sort of blue. And then in the middle, if we want to do some neutral ones, here we have some classic sort of cherry reds. So the lipstick I'm actually wearing that I'm gonna show you in a demo in a second, this is by the brand Innisfree. This is number 10 in their Eco Color, Eco Real Color lipstick. So this just sort of has a nice blend. It's just sort of a nice classic kind of red. Also, we have NARS jungle red this one is kind of on the neutral side it could sort of go into warm territory but I feel like that would be a good one for most skin tones um, next we have the NYX butter lipstick in the shade Mary Jane's and then also this is a bite this is another bite lipstick and this is poppy this is one of their two-sided guys Okay, so there you go. If you look at all these different shades, these are the warms, these are the neutrals, and these are the cool. If you compare the cools to the neutrals, there's not a huge difference. And if you compare the warms to the neutrals, not a huge difference again. That's because the neutrals have a nice blend of both, you know, warm and cool undertones. Okay, so now that I got you super confused, let's talk about finish, you know. It's hard enough choosing the correct color, but then you've also got to figure out, you know, do you want a glossy finish lip? Do you want a matte lip? Do you want a dewy lip? Um, do you want a sheer lip? You know, a sheer lip is a really, really good way to sort of get into the territory of reds. Maybe you've never worn a red lip, go with something sheer. If you, if you don't feel like you can go with like a full on opaque matte red lip, maybe just go for something like perhaps a gloss or one of these chubby sticks just to get a little tint of red. Um, I do think a matte red lip is very, very modern, very, very trendy. I think sort of a dewy um, satin finish, very, very classic. And I think a glossy red lip, you know, throw on some lip gloss over a lipstick or use a red gloss. I feel like that is very, very va va voom, very, very glam. So now I'm gonna show you a super, super quick application of how to do a classic red lip, um, kind of with a satiny finish and then also how to turn that into a matte red lip. Okay, for my demo, I'm going to be using a lip liner and a lipstick. So when I do a perfect red lip, I always like to use a lip liner. I like to use a lip liner for a couple reasons. First, it creates the perfect shape. Our lips are not often twins, you know, like the top and the bottom lip are not twins. From the right and left sides, they're not twins. One side of my lip, my top lip, there's one side, I can't remember which, which is which, um, but one side is lower than the other. So if I follow the actual shape of my lip perfectly with lipstick, it looks really strange. If you're using a bold lip, um, a bold lipstick, it's really easy to see sort of like um, asymmetry in your lip. So using a lip liner is much easier to correct than actually using a lipstick. So I like to use a lip liner to create the perfect shape and to do any corrections I may need. And then I also like to use a lip liner to completely fill in my lips. Um, you could just use lip liner for your red lip. You don't have to necessarily follow it up with lipstick, but I like to use 
use a lip liner as a base because it creates a really solid, long-lasting foundation for your lipstick. You know, through the day, you're talking, you're drinking, you're eating, your lipstick will wear off. But if you use a lip liner as a base, it's going to really help it stay. So first, I'm using a lip liner from Sephora. This is the number 20 Real Red. This is a very neutral sort of red, kind of a nice classic cherry red. So I'm just gonna, you know, line my lips and fill them in with this liner. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. If you look at this side, if you look at my right side of my top lip, it's definitely lower than my left. So the shape is a little bit different. So this is where I want to correct and make them look much more symmetrical. Okay, so now the shape is pretty good. You know, you gotta do it as perfectly as you can. It's hard to get something completely, completely perfect, but do your best. You know, my lips on the left and the right side, they're shaped a little bit differently. Um, one side is a little bit higher than the other. Yes, this is me. I'm very, very picky about this. Maybe you guys don't even notice it. Um, but I try to correct it and make my lips seem as symmetrical as possible. Now that my lip liner is done, um, I'm gonna use a lipstick and just kind of, you know, do a very light coat of lipstick. So the lipstick I'm using today is the first red lipstick I really, really got into. I got into red lips when I was in Korea. Um, so the red lipstick I'm using, I don't think I can even buy anymore, so I sort of treasure it and don't use it that often. This is by the brand Innisfree. And this is our Eco Real Color Lipstick, and this is in shade number 10, and this is a really classic sort of satin finish cherry red. It is so, so beautiful. So I can use a lip brush to apply this, or I can do it straight from the bullet. I'm just going to do it with a lip brush here quickly. So this is just adding, it's just kind of filling everything in. You know, I did a really good job um, filling in my lips with the pencil with the lip liner, um, but this is just gonna add, this is just sort of gonna fill in all the little cracks and crevices and just make everything so, so lush and full. Okay, my first layer of lipstick, now I'm going to blot. So I get a fair amount of color off with this one. So I like, ooh, I got a fair amount of color on here too. Just gonna beauty blend that away. Okay, so that first blot took off a lot of color. The first layer of lipstick is just to sort of stain your stain your lips um, to just get that color sort of in there, um, and it's gonna make it longer lasting. So second coat. So as you can see, with the second coat, I don't have to be super, super, super precise because I've already been really precise doing that first coat of lip liner. The second coat, I can just sort of put it on and be done with it. Um, I will blot a second time. Very, very lightly, I get a little bit of lipstick off. So now my lip's good to go. If I wanted to leave it um, sort of this dewy finish, I would just be done right now. Um, one thing you will want to do is <laughs> take a finger, put it in your mouth, and, you know, get any lipstick that's too far into your mouth. Get that off because you don't want red lipstick all over your teeth. So we got a little bit down there. Good to go. My teeth should stay clean for the rest of the day. If I don't want to keep this sort of satiny, dewy finish, I can change it to matte. Let's say that my Innisfree lipstick is the only lipstick I have, but unfortunately it does have a satin finish. But you know what? Matte red lips are really, really trendy nowadays. So I can easily turn this red lip matte. So I would do the same thing, you know, line my lips, do, um, do a layer, blot, do another layer. But then when I am going to blot, I would probably blot a second time, but then I'm going to take some translucent powder and a powder brush and one ply of tissue. So I've taken a, like a three ply tissue, I think this was, and I peeled off one ply of it. So I'm going, uh, oh my goodness. Powder, powder drama here. So I'm gonna take some translucent powder on my brush and I'm going to hold up the tissue and then hold up the tissue over my lips and sort of powder through the tissue. Some powder will get through the tissue and it will mattify my lips. And even if you want, you can sort of just take a little bit of powder and just directly powder your lips as well if it's not as matte as you would like. 
et voila. So that is a simple way to mattify your lipstick. And clearly my shirt has been mattified as well. Oops. Now, another thing to remember with a red lip, red lips are very, very bold. Um, so you might notice that the rest of your face sort of seems a bit bleh. So you might need to add a little bit more blush or bronzer or contour or something. So I feel like right now my face, it looks pretty good, but I am gonna add a little bit of blush to just add, um, just kind of brighten up the rest of my complexion. The red lips are really, really bold and they can sort of make the rest of your face look a little bit bleh, pale. And as always, Whenever I use any sort of lipstick, um, like a bold lipstick, I always love to put some highlighter on my cupid's bow to just make everything so much more sexy and glam. Also, I wanna talk about a couple tools you might want to think about when you are doing a red lip. First, when it comes to brushes. You know, a lip brush is very helpful, okay? This one is by OCC. This is just, I think this came with a set of their lip tars. This is very helpful. Um, it can really help getting into the smaller areas. Another brush that is very helpful for doing lips is an angled eyeliner brush. Why? Okay, you can use this at the wide angle to fill in your lips. But you can also use this teeny, teeny, um, like narrow width um, of the brush to be super, super precise and create a super, super clean line. So this is also very, very practical. I think I definitely prefer this over a proper lip brush. I feel like it's just, it's easier to maneuver with this to make a very, very perfect um, clean red lip. Also, of course, if you are using a lip liner, you absolutely want to have sharpeners nearby. Um, and you probably want to have a sharpener that has a couple size holes in it. This is by NARS. This has um, the two different sizes. And then this one is by the brand Maquillage, same thing. And then this one is from the brand SLA. This only has one size, but I really, I just really like the shape of this one. I got this at makeup school in Paris and I really, really like that one. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to have some lip brushes around and you also want to have some sharpeners. It's really, really easy to do a sexy, perfect red lip with lip liner, but you definitely want to have a sharpener. Okay, so are you confused? Red lips, there's a lot to it. You know, I think it sometimes can be difficult choosing a red lip, but like I said, you know what? There are rules, but makeup is fun. Like makeup is, makeup is an art to me. Makeup is creative and I don't really feel like makeup should have strict rules. So you know what? Some people who have cool undertones, they might look amazing in sort of like a reddish orange lip. You know, some people who have a warm undertone, they might look fabulous in something that's more like a raspberry or like a cranberry crimson sort of shade. So yeah, the whole color theory exists and I get I get where they're coming from, but I don't want you to think that you can't use, you know, the uh, like a lipstick of the opposite undertone that you are. You know what? Break some rules, figure out what you like, play around. Also, I think another good way to sort of figure out a red lip that you like go into Sephora or go into a beauty store and just just check out their lipsticks and just don't even think about your undertone, but what shade are you drawn to? Because I feel like the shades that you're just initially drawn to, the shades that really suck you in, those are probably going to be a good match. I remember when I was in Makeup Forever in Paris looking for pink, and there I found my shade number 36, um, Rouge Artist Intense. That is my absolute favorite pink, but it tends to be more on the blue side. It's definitely more of a cool toned pink, but I love it. It's fun. It makes my lips pop. It's really, really fabulous. So I have a warm undertone for my skin, but this lipstick is more cool toned, but I absolutely love it. So that's a perfect example. Rules, yeah, they're there, but they're also meant to be broken. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. I love, love, love a red lip. I think it is so beautiful. It's so classy. It's so chic, um, especially when it's done well. I feel like a red lip, you have to take the extra few minutes to really, really make it look perfect, but it is absolutely worth it. I feel like a red lip is an instant confidence booster. It's just, it's so chic. It's so polished. I love it. Um, anyway, I would love to know what your favorite reds are. What are your favorite red lipsticks, lip liners, all this stuff? And do you have any sort of cool, funky red lip or pink? 
pink lip or bold lip um, tips and tricks. What do you like to do to get your perfect red lip? So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!